Hello, people of the internet. This is Trapped in Time Games here, bringing you Call of Duty Ghosts Safeguard Mode because it is the only mode that I can really play right now. What you are seeing is Safeguard, which is pretty much Ghosts uh, Survival Mode. So it's a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. The reason I'm playing Safeguard, there, well, there are two reasons. First reason is that there's a trophy in it. Make it to round 20, and you get a trophy. I want that trophy. So here I am doing this, playing with randoms. Pretty bad randoms at that. But, uh, so first reason is I'm going for the trophy. Second reason, number two, is that I have a broken hand. So, um, I find myself unable to aim very well. And so, this gameplay is in safeguard mostly because multiplayer opponents just move too fast they kill too quickly along with uh, the horde of uh, of aliens in extinction mode they're just too ginormously fast so I have to stick to this game mode for now at least until maybe later on in my casting pro process I will uh, cut down the cast to make me more agile and uh, mobile. But, uh, so this gameplay, excuse me if it's terrible, but um, it's just uh, me running around hardly being able to aim. I had to switch my uh, layout from uh, tactical to default because uh, also I can't really hold down the uh, right stick very well either. So uh, I find myself pressing circle to knife, and then crouching, and then crouching when I'm into knife, occasionally. So, yeah. But, uh, despite the fact that I am a handicapped player, I find myself able to sort of guide the team onto victory. So, that works out well for me. However, that is also a bad sign for me because that lowers my chance of uh, us going to round 20 and actually beating safeguard mode because it ends at round 20. So, yeah. Two teammates going down on the first round. Bad sign, but I shall find a way to prevail. Maybe. So, right now, I only have a pistol. It's not like survival mode. I can't buy a weapon, otherwise I would have already, or picked it up. The enemies, their weapons magically disappear when you dr when you kill them, so, uh, yeah. That's why I have only a pistol. And instead of you buying weapons, these random crates drop in certain places, so that's, uh, how you get your weapons. And, uh, you can sort of re-roll it a couple of times, but ultimately, it's based on chance mostly, so yeah. And I'm actually going to get most of the revives in this game, I believe. Two, three, three of my teammates are down here. I'm not sure if I know if I only picked up one of them, one of the two. I thought I picked up two of them for a second, but I did not. But so far, all three of my teammates have gone down. That was round two, and... I don't believe I go down until round 10, our last round when all of us die, and all four of our uh, teammates' enemies are forced upon me. So yeah, that kind of stinks. But uh, that's sort of how things work. Going sort of for the, uh, the field orders right there and going for headshots, I suppose. But uh, mostly I'm just trying to survive the terrible teammates. So I believe here, I'm going to re-roll this twice to get a care package because I don't like the weapons. So I get ammo instead of uh, an actual new weapon because I figured I'd keep the pistol seeing as though it's already level 2 and it has increased damage at level 2. So, yeah. I just figured I'd keep the pistol. I mean, we're already pretty close. Epic sliding over there and... 
One thing I do like about this that I've noticed so far is that when you pick somebody up, you get ballistic vests. At least you personally. Which gives you a great excuse to just run into the enemy field. And so long as uh, everything's... You know, so long as there's not 30 enemies on you, you can pick them up in time and then you'll have ballistic vests to make your escape at least. If not, you'll keep that ballistic vest for the rest of the game, or until you lose it at least. So, yeah. The trick of this game is to find a place to hold down, but my teammates are pretty terrible, so I gotta go pick up the slack everywhere else in the map. Normally, if you had a team of four players who knew how to play this, uh, they probably wouldn't be grouped up like that. Uh, the way I would probably do it is since there are it's a little bit different in the spawning. They seem to spawn in just one location rather than uh, actually uh, spawning away from you. So you could have uh, just four teammate or three teammates and yourself just watching over certain areas and uh, sort of killing them on as they spawn. I haven't noticed an attack helicopter or anything like that, so, so far I haven't run into issues with being outside or anything, but, uh, I later run into issues of, like, riot shield people mostly, but, that is another thing to cope with. But if you kill them and spawn, then, uh, they're not really an issue too much, too much, at least. But later they become an issue as, uh, your bad teammates decide... I'm not going to do anything about this, so yeah. So right now we get another bonus round, which means kill streaks are dropping from the skies. I should have used up my early kill streaks because I have too many. So I decide, ah crap, I don't have enough. I'm gonna call in my vulture and then pick up another one. But nope, just ran out of time. So that's unfortunate. But that's gonna give me incentive to use my kill streaks from now on. So you're gonna get to see some sweet scout sniper. Or Helo Sniper from Safeguard Mode in action for two consecutive rounds, probably. And it's gonna be pretty incredible. I actually gotta try that kill streak out, by the way, because it's a pretty interesting kill streak. The sniper rifle is pretty much a one shot kill anywhere, and uh, I don't know, it looks pretty good once I fix my hand up and it stops, you know me from being unable to aim but actually when I look into this game my aim is getting really a lot better so I figured right about here as my uh, pistol goes up to uh, level 3 get even more damage I imagine it gets crazy once you uh, actually max out your pistols level or really any weapons level so that's why I I'm here to give tips, and I don't know where that death machine came from, but I don't get to really use it because my kill streak apparently takes it away. But, uh. I still have it, but I was just switching weapons there. I figured I'd give some tips. So, starting off. So, on round one, you defeat all the enemies. Round two, you can expect some weapons to drop. Now, just go to the nearest one that has a care package of something similar that you like. So, an SMG or an assault rifle will usually be fine. I don't think LMGs spawn or not. But, uh, pretty crazy right there, right? But, uh, so yeah, you're gonna want to go to the closest one and just pick that up. Or re-roll it once, because you can't re-roll you can't re -roll it twice, otherwise you get ammo. So re-roll it once, if you need to. Get a weapon that you like. And then stick with that weapon for the rest of the game. The reason I say that is because that way you can level up that weapon a lot. I mean, just think about it. Which is going to be more uh, useful? Is it going to be useful to have two assault rifles level 3? Or is it going to be u more useful to have a pistol level 4 and an assault rifle level 3? I mean, it's not too big of a difference there. But once you get into safeguard extended mode where there's 40... Uh, 40 uh, waves, it's going to start adding up. You know, you get to 10 that much quicker, those next couple rounds are going to be a lot easier. And who knows, maybe once you 
maybe it goes past 10 first off. So, yeah. That's why I advise sticking with one weapon at most times. Unless you get something like, oh yeah, here's the, uh, I don't know, here's the, um, Bulldog Silenced. That was the only shotgun I could think of. But, uh, yeah. So, if the gun is reasonable, I say stick with it. Because it will get far better. Here's some s more, uh, sweet Scout Sniper gameplay. Or, I keep on calling it Scout Sniper, but it's really, uh, a, a helicopter sniper. I don't know. But, uh, this is sort of where my cast came in. I'm bad with it. Uh, so. Yeah, my aim is less than impeccable. But, yeah. Moving on to the next tip. Pick a good map. I mean, I'm going out of order here, but pick a good map. A map like this has so many flank routes. So many open areas. It's just... I mean, hold... You have uh, two tactics. You can hold down a building, or you can sort of kill them off at their spawn. But in an open area like this... They're going to be spawning everywhere. So this is probably not a great map for, uh, for safeguard. So, yeah. Make sure that you, uh, choose your... If you're playing private, you have this option. But if you're playing public matches, sorry, you don't. But pick a good map for what strategy you want to do. Okay, this brings me to, uh... That care package right there reminds me of another another sort of a uh, tip when the care packages start dropping with the perks you want to get you want to get ICU as fast as possible because that is going to be a lifesaver perk in this game mode in this game mode you're constantly going to be taking damage like just crazy it's going to be prey so you want to be able to recover damage quickly and uh you know, if you're playing with a bunch of randoms, it may be best to uh, actually hog the perks like I'm doing and uh, pick up three of them, like I have. So, yeah, because it's just because probably all of them have five downs by now, I'm sure. So, yeah, get ICU ASAP, because that is probably the most important point perk in this game. Blast Shield, I'm sort of biased toward it, towards it. Uh, I mean, you don't need it, but I don't know. It's kind of pointless in this game mode because I don't think they throw grenades, but I have biased towards it because I always run Blast Shield. So yeah, make sure that uh, you get perks to your loadout. That's a good tip. Perks to your loadout. Stab the guy in the chest, it's important. So you can see my team sort of going into a downfall now. They're dying like it's round two over here, you know? <laughs> but uh, I'm starting to get overwhelmed by all these people shooting me, so I'm going to actually run away. And this was sort of the beginning of the end, because with my teammates dying now, that means that now we have four times the enemies on two people. Now it's two, four times the enemies on one person. And I... Not sure if I try and pick him up, but it's uh, it's definitely a greater challenge when you don't when you have you know 20 people over five people, and so that's why I call him my squad mate. However, I believe that it comes in too late, as I'm gonna die somewhere near here. But anyway, guys, this video is coming to an end. I hope that my short little safeguard tips have uh, helped you or are helping you if this is going on now. Uh, my name is Trapped in Time Games. I'm gonna sign out a little bit early this time. I'm probably gonna be playing more Safeguard later, just because at least for the four next four weeks I'm gonna be wearing a cast. But anyway, guys, please remember to like and subscribe if this helped you. Catch you guys next time. I'm out of here.